what percent of the iraqi people would support us leaving in a reasonable time of six months plus under the circumstances you describe is it a small number of people or almost all of them what percent of the america the iraqi people would agree with us leaving under those circumstances I uh, ask you to perhaps have a, a, referendum, a referendum, and that will tell you the truth. So you have no idea. You have no idea. Maybe only 5% want to support us leaving. You have to have an idea. Of course not. The majority of the people of Iraq are with the withdrawal. 51%? لا أكثر بكثير لا ربما يصل إلى حدود السبعين في المئة. Perhaps even about seventy percent. Okay, okay, that's good. حسنا. When when we leave, um, how will it be perceived if we leave the embassy with our presence there in the super embassy of the world? Or how do we have to deal with that symbolically? Does that does that rub some people in Iraq the wrong way? that we have the biggest embassy in the world, big as the Vatican? Or do we have to address that subject and say, when we leave, we're going to have a small embassy appropriate for what we should do to have an embassy in that country? The embassy in Iraq has an incredible large amount of staff. It is certainly larger than the diplomatic mission for which it has arrived for. Uh, I have information that there may, may be about 3,000 uh, employees. And uh, there certainly is another view than the one that we see. And yes, there is some procrastination in its relationship with the society. Because its relations are limited to the green zone. And even within the green zone, not everyone has good relations. Let me narrow this down. Would it be um, not good policy for us to keep that embassy that big? Or would you advise, look, when you leave, it's not good for the Americans to have this embassy? Do you think that for public relations reason we should address that? Or do you think it would be a insignificant event for the Iraqi people to maintain that embassy as it stands. Uh, this is the same question I ask myself. I mean, why do we need 3,000 employees in an embassy in Iraq? If we consider it as a diplomatic mission like any other diplomatic mission. Okay. 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 I understand that. So from the principle of reciprocity, uh, would it be appropriate for the Iraqis to establish a 3,000 employee embassy in Washington? I understand that. I understand that part. But what I want to know is the emotional public rela relations reaction to the Iraqi people if we stay there. Is, do, do we still have a problem when we have that presence along with military bases even though we claim we have left? It seems to me that we have to know what leaving really means. It certainly would not be a very positive signal to the Iraqi people. If you maintain a reasonable sized embassy in Iraq, okay. that would open up to the Iraqi society. Yes. Yes. and have relations with the uh, political elite and the society. And would you have